What's up, YouTube? Nate here. Lester. Uh, what are you doing today? This ain't a Mac. Ah. This is a Peterbilt. They didn't even make the playoffs. Oh, well. <laughs> um, as you can see, the room here is empty. I'm uh, taking it back old school a little bit. Lester's with me again. And we're doing an amalgamation of two pickups, Tuesday and Monday. It's one. Uh, it's Marvel versus Capcom, baby. There was a question on Facebook about what I meant with this is our last or my last pickup video. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna quit this channel. It's you know I like this channel where it is right now. Obviously, I want to see it go further, but I am slowing down more than quitting. I am in the process of moving to my house, and you can see behind me. I even took down all the shelves. I prepped the wall, so you can't even tell there were shelves there. Um, all my games are pretty much in boxes now. I got a couple loose ones here and there, and the ones today I have to show you are still yet to be packaged. But I haven't shown them to anybody yet, so I wanted to do a pickup video too. And Lester, what's your yeah. situation? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be slowing down as well. Like the last video, I guess I told you guys it's just probably gonna be the last one in a while. We're not quitting, but real life right now is just hectic. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll probably see videos once in a while, but not as often. We were thinking about doing some different format stuff. Rather than just the regular pickup videos, which we love to do, um, just in case we slow down a little bit, we're gonna do different, we'll try different things. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll leave it for a surprise, but Jezbo Vision, uh, he is slowing down too. He's taking a break again. I think this is his second break from YouTube, actually. So, um, what did I say? I wanted him to rejuvenate his batteries and come back soon. I love his pickup videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Jezbo Vision. I put them on our recommended channels on the side of our channel. So, Jezebel Vision, uh, hopefully you'll find your E-Pack. <laughs> the hell's that? From Mega Man! The energy pack. Oh. The extra... Yeah, I don't know if he's, he's not tired per se, he's just... Like, yeah. You know, he's doing different things. He's, he's a busy guy. It's real life, son. That's what it is. <laughs> Anyways, we'll represent you while you are taking a break on vacation on the beach or whatever you're doing. We'll find five Earthbounds in your honor. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, we're doing two pickup videos today. Lester will be doing music, and then I'll come in with the video game. So. From last week, I haven't even found much. I only found four CDs. But uh, I've, I've actually found stuff that I was actually missing. So um, I guess we'll start with the other collection. Chicago, Greatest Hits, 1982 to 1989. With Hard to Say I'm Sorry, Stay the Night, Will You Still Love Me, Hard Habit to Break, Two Bucks. Oh man, we were listening to this in this car the other day and singing to it. Awesome! Yeah. Chairlift, their first CD. Um, it's their debut. Uh, Does You Inspire You, and uh, actually it's the first pressing with 11 tracks. It's not rare or anything, but I like getting stuff from bands where the first pressing is different from the, uh, the retail version, I suppose. And uh, actually, I got this a long time ago and I didn't know if I was going to keep it or not. Uh, Emile's first CD, All Money Is Legal, uh, she was in the Rockefeller family. Now, I didn't want to keep it because it was the clean version. So, yeah, ended up keeping it. And yesterday, <laughs> yeah, The Chronic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah classic. It's probably like my fifth copy, but I'm going to keep this one because I don't even, I only have the remastered one. So that's the original 1992 release. And those are the CD pickups. 10, 10, 12. If, if you're on the Facebook page... Yeah, you guys know what the situation is with that, so yeah. Every night Van Gogh think it and you might fly. This is the last stack of stuff I'll show for a while. I said I was gonna slow down, and I have, but this is, a lot of this is just stuff I haven't shown in a long time, that's all. I forgot it's in my living room or whatever the case may be. Oh. You guys should have been at the store today. <laughs> anyway, actually here. You know who might help me with this one? Uh, Big Daddy Darth. He knows a lot about toys. I found a bag of toys for $1.99. There's only one toy in there that I really wanted. I haven't seen him often. I believe he's from He-Man. I don't think he's from She-Ra. He looks like... 
That dude from Mega Man X3. The fire guy. What was this guy's name again? I don't even know. But basically, we did a quick eBay search on this uh, before we bought it, and there were loose ones without any weapons or anything that were selling for like 10 bucks. So I thought he looked super cool. I remember seeing him somewhere. But that package also came with. I'm guessing it's a Ninja Turtle toy. If you guys can name who this guy is, 10 points for you. <laughs> this is my Krang head. It's my second Krang head. I love Krang. Krang is awesome. Yesterday, we I went to Valley Village. Yesterday, I found a Super Game Boy. This is my second one. I already have this complete box, but this one was only $2.99, so I couldn't pass that up. Super Game Boy. I guess I can trade that one if I wanted to. You could. Yeah, you could definitely sell it to someone who wants it. Mm -hmm. While ago, I was uh, talking and singing the praises of Rock 30 Games. I picked up from there Time Stalkers for the uh, Sega Dreamcast. It didn't come with a back, but that's why I think it was only like five bucks. You know, and it's in pretty good shape. Again, I'm trying to get a good Dreamcast collection. Um, this game I really want, though. Zombie Revenge. It looks awesome. But yeah, Time Stalkers. Haven't played it. I think it's an RPG. If you've played it, let me know. I think it's like three weeks ago now. PNP Games. I traded in a bunch of my loose uh, games because I was preparing to move. And I picked up a game that I really, really wanted. Fatal Frame 1 for the PS2. This is brand new seal. $39.99, but I didn't pay anything out of pocket for it. Um, really a wicked survival horror game. Awesome. Probably one of the best ones for the PS2. Yeah, I pissed my pants. <laughs> Next, uh, Resident Evil 4. I have to say, 4 is still my favorite, but I'm excited to play that game. And Winnipeg is this really wonky rule about if you're not a pawn shop, you have to trade one for one. So if you trade in like five video games, you have to get five video games in return, which is really weird. So PNP's way around it is they have a bin of two cent games. So literally, these are two cents. Madden 64. <laughs> Double dribble by Konami. Oh, sweet. And NFL Quarterback Club 98. They literally had bins of these games. Uh, this one was from my wife, actually. She went to the Goodwill uh, two weeks ago. It was $1.99 for Rainbow Six. Greatest hits version. You know, whatever. Props to my wife. Thank you very much. And she also found at the Goodwill that day... The Da Vinci Code. This one is 99 cents. I don't know if I showed this one yet. I don't think I, I did. There you go. It doesn't even look like it's been played. That's how good it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, today, yes. Lester and I went to Valley Village. Today, we have some footage of when I found this. Eh? Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask CD soundtrack. It's a two-disc soundtrack. There's, like, how many tracks on here? 53 plus 59. It's over 100 tracks in here. That's nuts. Uh, we listened to it in the car. <laughs> Zelda! Apparently it was only given to uh, Nintendo Power subscribers. Yes, because yep. we googled it. Yep. <laughs> um, today also we were at Salvation Army and their, all their games I was asking like why is there no price on them? And they have this thing now where it's just all 2 99 so Not gonna complain about that. Copy of Twisted Metal 2. Lesser talked me into buying this game. Twisted Metal Black, sorry. Did I say Twisted Metal 2? Yeah. Twisted Metal Black. Also got a copy of Borderlands for the Xbox 360. This is the Platinum Hits Edition. For 3 bucks on an Xbox 360 game? I thought that was a pretty good deal, actually. And I also got a copy of Unreal Tournament for the PS2. Three bucks again. And actually, this is 10% uh, off with my student card. So I can't complain about that. But I also found inside one of the boxes, weird enough, Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo. Just the manual. I was hoping it was turbo, but it's just regular. Really sweet, so I'm on the hunt for that box now. Perhaps the coolest thing there today. $3.99 minus 10% off. It was inbox the uh, PlayStation Multitab. You never bought this though, hey Les? No. no. I thought it was sweet because it's an official one in the official box. That's Still why I love it. Good shape too. Oh, like, yeah, look at that. It's perfect. Boom. PlayStation Multitab 399. Minus 10% off. And perhaps my most uh, 
favorite pickup. I was in a conference in Gimli, and I passed by a thrift store on the way there. Um, I was actually late coming back to my conference, but I went and I found. Well, I'll show this one first. We love Katamari. This one was only three bucks. It's my second copy of this one. <laughs> but three bucks for We Love Katamari. Come on. Oh, man. And this for five bucks. Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Well, it's not complete, as I found out. If you followed us on Facebook, you would have seen this a week ago. And uh, it's in really good condition, actually, this thing. You can see the box is still pretty solid, right? It came with the uh, Silver Star book, which I had read already. A couple of interviews there with the designers and the creators and stuff like that. Really good book, really in-depth, and it has, like, a marker there. And it comes with the disc, the four-disc lunar set. You know, I thought the bag was pretty funny there. So for five bucks, amazing deal. Only thing this is missing, according to people, is the cloth map. Which sucks. I really wish I had the cloth map. This pickup was over three weeks, so I'm not lying when I say I'm slowing down. Today was pretty much the only day I picked up stuff. Today and yesterday. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll still be doing stuff regularly. Uploading this and that. 10, 10, 12. Look out for that. Missy eye. Check us out on Facebook. Thank you very much to all our likers and our subscribers. You guys rock. There you go. Here. No holds barred, all scarred. Let's drink beer. Look at this freaking winter. It's cold. Okay, this is exactly what I thought it would be. Was it too much to wish that this was the orchestra version of these songs? I suppose. Literally, this is just the video game music. I'm not familiar with the game, so...